watching it and we'll get the program going here in just a few seconds. I know exactly how you felt when you saw our charming and elegant first lady come in. You wanted to go get an autograph. And the only reason I'm asking you to sit down is so I can run over and get mine. You know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please be seated. We'll have another number from our fine Dixie. And by the way, I think we owe them a great round of applause from the United States Marine Corps. And we'll have another one and get the program started. How's that? and good afternoon to all of you. I am very pleased to bid you welcome. My name is Johnny Grant and I'm from California and I know there's a lot of love and a lot of enthusiasm in here this afternoon for this very special picnic hosted by our First Lady, Nancy Reagan. You're having a good time, aren't you? Yes. Now, 
I just want to see one thing. We have the foster grandparents here, and we have the kids here. And I want the grandparents first to applaud and show their appreciation for the kids, and then we're going to go vice versa and see who has the most enthusiasm. Now, the grandparents. Oh. Very good. Now let's see what the kids think of the grandparents. Okay, kids. All right. I guess it's a tie. Well, it is. I think this is such a wonderful idea to kick off the new book and the new record. And here it is right above us, To Love a Child. And the Foster Grandparents Program, let me just say this before we get going. I, I want to put this on the record because I've lived out in California for a long, long time and followed our First Lady's career. And I just want you to know that it, this isn't something she grabbed onto when she got to Washington because I remember the day that she went out to the hospital there in California and met that young fella, and this is how it all, what's that, 14 or 15 years ago, maybe more. 57, 67, so that's a long time. So she has your love and of course her support and all, and this is gonna be great today. Now, let me introduce you to a young lady. The reason I had you do that little warm up there is I want you to do this for each and every one of the performers that come up this afternoon. There's a very charming little lady over here and if you're from the Washington area, how many of you, let me find out, how many of you came in from out of town, from say Florida or New York or somewhere else? That's good, see? So you won't all know this young lady because she is from Washington. If you were from the Washington area, you would know her from television because she is one of the top children's performers in this area and award-winning record artist. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a welcome for Michelle Valerie, right here. Here's Michelle. Thank you very much. I'd like you to meet my friends. And we'd like you to join us in singing this opening tune and every tune after that. Okay, this is a song you probably all know the words to, too. Here we go. Sing. You know this? Woo. Sing a song. And here we go. Sing out loud. children and I want to make sure that Stephanie and Robert and Kevin and NTN and all their friends sing this one with us okay you ever play Simon Says Did you ever play Simon Says this is like Simon Says okay just do what I tell you to here we go put your finger in the air in the air you got it good put your finger in the air in the air you got it in the air Put your finger in the air and leave it there till next year. Put your finger in the air, in the air. I'm only kidding. Put your finger on your head, on your head. You got it on your head? Put your finger on your head, on your head. That's great. Put your finger on your head. Tell me, is it green or red? What color is it? Anybody? Red, put your finger on your head, on your head. All right, one more time. Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. I like this one a lot. Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. Put it on your chin. Put your finger on your chin. And give us a great big grin. Oh, that's lovely. Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. Now put your finger on your knee, on your knee. That's it, either one, either knee. Put your finger
finger on your knee, on your knee. Now put your finger on your knee. Hold your breath and count to three. One, two, three. Put your finger on your knee, on your knee. Now put your finger on your shoe, on your shoe. I know it's lunchtime. But put your finger on your shoe, on your shoe, and you just ate. But put your finger on your shoe. Tell me, is it brown or blue? Blue. Mine's black. Blue, white, put your finger on your shoe, on your shoe. All right, now, put your fingers all together, all together. Put your fingers all together, all together. You got them all together? Put your fingers all together and clap your hands for this gorgeous weather. Yeah. Put your fingers all together, all together. All right, sing with me. Put your finger in the air, in the air. That's it. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air and leave it there till next year. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger down now. That's it. Okay. I told someone in the audience named Louise from Mississippi that I would dedicate this song to her because she said that her husband used to sing this to her all the time. But everyone knows this song. So you're going to have to join us on this one. Here we go. I know. Dedicate this to your foster grandparent or if you're a foster grandparent to your foster grandchild. All right? This will work. And I'll dedicate it to Louise. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. That's it. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and I cried. Sing it to somebody. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Thank you. Okay, and then I wrote, no, this is, a, this is another song that you've probably heard, and I'm sure you can join in on this one too. This is called Oh Susanna. You know this one? Okay, there's a few things you can do. You can play the banjo if you like, okay? Oh, I come from Alabama to Washington. Thank you. Now how about it for Michelle Valerie and all of her friends? You know, ladies and gentlemen, a name that is synonymous in the music world with the very best, whether it be conducting, composing, arranging, whatever it might be, that name is Costa. And of course, Mr. Costa has been for a long, long time associated uh, in making records with Frank Sinatra and many of the other great, great names on the record labels. We have Don with us today, and we also have, and I'm going to have you welcome these two people together, is very lovely Nika. Uh, that is his daughter, and she is on the record that you have been given. And uh, I know you're all going to take that home, and I was very, very happy to see her signing autographs back here a little earlier. And you're going to say, hey, she's a living doll. I'd like to take her home with me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Costa and Miss Nika Costa right here. Give them a great big welcome.
Sometimes I wonder where I've been, who I am, do I fit in, make believe in, is hard alone. Rising star to guide me far and shine me home out here on my own. When I'm down and feeling blue, I close my eyes so I can be. shown Isn't she cute? And she's good, too. Well, look, where did they come from? Look at here. Let's bring them up. Let me tell you who these fine youngsters are. We met them yesterday, and I want to make sure I get this absolutely right, because they are the citywide chorus from the Washington, D.C. public schools. Don't you think they deserve a big hand? Thank you. We took a little poll yesterday to find out what they all wanted to be, and we have future astronauts and doctors, and we got one guy that was really honest. He said, I'm very thrilled to be here, and I'm very thrilled to be out of school today. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we have a couple of little ladies that want to go to Broadway. That's wonderful. Well, I'm waiting for a cue, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't tell you one thing that I should have. I forgot this, and I think it's very important because you see the book right here. And I read most of that book last night, and I just love all of you foster grandparents because you have done some extraordinary things. I think we all owe you another round of applause. You are something, and I'll do it myself. You are something. But, you know, the great thing about this today, this big kickoff for the book and the record is that every single penny in royalty goes to the foster grandparent program, so that means we can have more of you and more kids. And that is even greater, really. Thank you. You're beautiful. 
You know, ladies and gentlemen, for about 25 years, I, uh, I was a disc jockey. And I don't think I ever did a program without including one of this next gentleman's records. At least one, because I was the kind of a guy that would do a whole hour, you know, because I think he's great. It was a great thrill to introduce him then, and I want to tell you it's even a greater thrill to have him a part of this today, ladies and gentlemen. America's greatest performer, and certainly one of our greatest citizens, Mr. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> much ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you all look so pretty and so nice and I'm glad to be part of our celebration here today on behalf of Mrs. Reagan and this lovely book about our wonderful grandparents and children and uh, and to get a chance to sing like I haven't got enough time to do that right uh, I don't know if you've heard the song before, um, but I think you have lyrics in there, but we'll first do it so that you get used to, to hearing what you're doing, or what we're doing. And if you know it well enough by then, you're very smart. Because <laughs> I'm not too sure myself. No, I'm joking. Are we ready to do it? Yeah. I'm ready. The younger giraffe, do you need someone to care for? Said the older to the younger giraffe, I'm available and therefore. Hand in hand, they both went down, spent the day in jungle town. Anything that they can do, humans can do too. As one human to another, I'd like to question you. If it takes the sun and the rain to make a tree grow, if it takes the moon and the tide to make the sea flow, what does it take to love a child? Love a child to start with a smile And after a while a hug and a kiss It takes no more than this To love a child To love a child I'd like to question you If it takes the sun and the rain To make a tree grow If it takes the moon and the tide To make the sea flow What does it take to, to love a child? To love a child Start with a smile, and after a while, a hug and a kiss, it takes no more than this.
To love a child To love a child To love a child 